So I'm glad to announce that the Amazon Matcher now works with all Amazon regions. If you're not familiar, this is a tool that takes products data from a supplier and automatically finds those products on the Amazon marketplace. Previously, it only worked with a few regions, but now you can actually select any region and it will give you the uh, region code as well as the actual Amazon domain for that region. And then it will try to match the products to that region. Now, I do want to go over uh, in this video um, about the bringing data in from a supplier. Walmart is a great example because um, what I'm going to talk about is the fact that sometimes the Walmart CSV can differ from um, other Walmart CSVs from a different page. So if I download bathroom furniture, I might get a different CSV format that I, from what I might get on living room, living room furniture, for example, right? Or whatever it is. Um, once you import into the sheet, uh, use file import and you bring the data in, the CSV, supplier CSV onto the CSV sheet, you will see the column head and some top. And by the way, if you're not familiar, I use a free Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper that I click on and it automatically pulls this product data for me into a CSV format. I have a full demonstration of this tool if you want more details. But um, just remember that you may have to create another map as I just did down here called Walmart 2. And this map reflects the titles that uh, the column heading for the titles on this CSV, which are WIUH7, okay, which is different from what it was on the other Walmart CSV. So um, this is something you have to understand that you do have to sometimes add another columns map. You should always check the CSV to see if it still matches the map. Most and many suppliers only need one map, but Walmart is different. You need multiple column maps. So I need to make that clear because I've had people who uh, got the system before who then email me complain it doesn't work with Walmart. And I, and I say, well, it doesn't work with any suppliers. It works with supplier data. The system does not connect to a supplier. You go to the supplier, you get the product data, you bring it to the system, and then the system works with that data. All right. It doesn't connect to a supplier. So there's no such thing as it works or not or doesn't work with a supplier. In fact, because you are going to the supplier and you're bringing in the product data, actually it works with any supplier, all right, any supplier. Now, once you have product titles, then you can start the matching. Now, keep in mind, this is from, an, uh, this is from a US website, walmart.com, and I might be trying to match it to another country. So I'm not sure what results I'll get, but I'll go ahead and click start finding results for Australia, which is this domain. And, uh, you know, it's possible that some of these might show up, that some Amazon links might show up for these products, even though it's a U.S. based uh, supplier, because there can be similar products selling um, on a marketplace of another country. So, you know, you may not get as many matches as if, if this was Amazon.com, perhaps, but you can still get some matches. And it's a great way. Uh, to source from uh, suppliers even outside the country. But ideally, what you might want to do is whatever country you're doing, you're going to use a supplier from that country, of course. Um, most likely, most people might be wanting to do that. But the point is that you don't have to do that. Um, you can you know, put any supplier titles in here and uh, it will just search the titles on the web and try to find some matches um, of these various uh, products. Okay, so that is basically the idea. And this is not meant to be a full demonstration of matching or anything like that, but just to show you how you can choose the domain uh, and then it will potentially pull up uh, products from that other domain. So you can see here, this product is from amazon.com.au, which is the domain The domain I selected. It's currently unavailable, but the point is it's it's on that domain. So you can see how that works. Right. And if I select another country and I do the process again, it will find links on that particular country's domain. And again, for this example, I'm crossing between countries, a supplier in one country, marketplaces, another country, um, not even the same continent, two different 
continents all together. So um, Australia, Australia being its own continent, actually, in this case. So uh, basically, you know, this is not like a prime example. You're going to use a better example uh, with supplier that is more likely going to have products on the marketplace. But just showing you that it has that functionality. And if you want a full demonstration of this whole thing, as far as the whole process of what happens beyond here, uh, with profit calculation, all these other things that exist here, um, you have to see a video, another video I have where it's a, a full demo, which I might have linked on this video actually below. And so you can always check that for a more complete demonstration. And um, that's about it. If you want to get a copy, you can check the description of this video for a link and a you do get free um, updates as well um, for this. So one update I'm looking at doing, uh, which I believe I can do um, without much difficulty is going to be something where you can convert these uh, prices from the supplier to a different currency. Since we're going across regions quite possibly, say from the US to Australia or US to uh, a European uh, country or whatever, so you may want to have the convenience um, of being able to convert these currencies right here within the sheet where this will show up instead of being in $49.97 US, it will convert to its equivalent of whatever Australian money is, for instance, right? So anyway, um, that is something that I would like to implement here as well. That would be a future update on the next version. So anyway, if you have further questions or comments or anything else, you can contact me either directly by email otherwise or comments below in the video. This is Mr. Mark. I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around on one of my channels.